Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to scatter any kind of objects throughout a surface. Here I already have this plane here with uh, some geometry nodes that creates some somewhat like a landscape because the model that we are going to scatter here is going to be a grass model. So to do that, basically the first thing we need to do to do is to select the object where we want to scatter things and then add modifier geometry nodes all right now that we have it we create a new one and go to the geometry nodes tab i'm going to put it as solid view and just to make it be a little bit easier to move around and then here is where we are going to scatter the objects so i'm going to to get some space here to work with and to do that is fairly simple we just shift a and then we search for points and then we find distribute points on faces and there we go so this way we are going to have random uh distribution of points throughout the the surface but as we can see the surface is no longer there and to fix that we have to join the geometry so i'm going to click right here drag we have this plus sign which means when i leave it it's going to show this search bar where we can type join geometry and there we go this is this here is basically like a boolean so i can simply come here and add this one here and geometry to the output and there we go we have the points scattered throughout the plane and also the plane so here now we need to add points actually not the points we need to add the instances on the points to do that we shift a again search instance this on points the last one here for some reason then we add it here nice so now we have to find the object information that we want to scatter around and in this case i already have here some models i'm going to open here if we want to add a single model being scattered around we just click on the model drag it down here and then we have the object info so we can grab the geometry here and add it to instance. This way it's going to be scattered on all the points that we've got along the surface. But this way we are going to have a pretty uh, normal distribution of things. It's not going to have any kind of, any kind of uh, randomness. So we can see that it's all equal. To make it a little bit better, we can change it by adding a random to a random value to the scale and the rotation as well. So for the scale, we can add it a random a random value to all the so all the axes equal. So we can do a random value like that. Uh, it's going to, to give us this vector here, but let's not work with vector just to make it be um, even with all the axes. So let's change it to float. And then we already have some randomization in size. Oh, actually, we don't. There we go. Now we have so, some randomization in size. Okay, it already looks pretty nicer, but let me add a little bit more space to us here. It still shows that every single instance is rotated the same way. So let's change it. To do that, we are going to get and grab the rotation. 
So from here the instance is on point. I'm going to grab the rotation and going to change it to combine. So combine is going to allow us to change the rotation on each axis separately. And so for example here I don't want to rotate it on the X axis, for example. I don't want it to rotate on the Y axis as much as I want to rotate on the Z axis. So I can simply grab this random value here and set it here. And then we have some randomization. And we can also grab another one here. Let me put it a little bit up here and shift right click and drag we are able to create these uh reroutes so we can better organize the graph and here we have another random value that we can use just for simplicity sake i'm going to use the same value here and here but you can create another random value to derive these two separately and then you have a better control then at the maximum here i'm going to bring it all the way down to something like 0.1 so it if it moves it's going to move pretty much almost nothing it's just going to have some uh slight tilts and this one i think we're good with it like this Actually, since it is a uh, rotation, I'm pretty sure that we would have to change it to something like 360. There we go, and then we rotate it randomly. And there we go, we have something that looks a lot better than we had before. Yep. All right, but in this case, we are still uh, adding a single instance that is going to, to be scattered all around the surface. But here we have 16 different grasses that can be used. In this case, instead of using the object information, let's change it to something a little bit different, which is the grass collection itself so i'm going to grab it here and then we have this collection info i'm going to get the collection and add it here this way if we get closer we are going to see that it's scattered all the 16 grass models at once in the same place we don't want that we want a simple a single model being scattered in each point for that we have here the separate children and it's still not going to do anything here because we have to come here to the instances on point and click on this pick instance and there we go now we have different grasses for each point and it's all rotated and scaled randomly 